More and more we will be able to measure and understand how our brain cells function. Deciphering our consciousness is another question. But the experiments of Dr. Yang Dan have proved that in principle, it is possible to read and to understand the brain. <laughs> I didn't know that we started this thing again. So, so this is a digitized movie. Um, we present this to the animal and we record the activity of the, their visual neurons. And these electrical signals that we recorded from will travel through these cables. She managed to tap the vision from the brain of a cat and to reconstruct what the cat sees onto a computer screen. So this is a digitized movie. Uh, this particular movie is a short clip from Indiana Jones, I think. Here we see the two images next to each other. On the left, the image that was shown to the cat. At the right, the image that is tapped out of the cat's brain. The picture has a lot of random flickering, the noise. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. probably the, the noise of the, the actual neur uh, neurons, because they sometimes fire spontaneous spikes. We consider those noise, but Maybe they reflect something else, maybe the, the thoughts or, or something. But we can distinguish that. So when we use all of those, thinking that they represent visual information, this is the reconstruction that we come up with. It is the first time an image was tapped from a brain. It proves that we can read and understand the grammar of it. The face is recognizable, but I still can't avoid the impression that the face has something cat-like.